All right, Sky, can I get some not rain? Long enough to fiberglass these two suckers. That's about two and a half layers wrapped around there. Probably want to double that. I'm not sticking them together yet because I want to have a bearing here and a bearing there. So I want to put the bearings on there and then attach this to that. And the bearings on the ends, they just go on anytime. All right. Yeah, still loads of space for fiberglass layers. I want to make sure these are really strong because I never want to have to repair them. And I want to be able to pedal like hard as I want. So it looks like the pedals are going to go right across here. I'm going to cut this part out and there'll be pedals here and there and right in the middle will be where the paddle wheel is. And I'm going to make it so people can sit facing forward for the pedals and facing backwards. So you can have one, two, three, four people pedaling. I'm also thinking about, uh, well, I want to have bearings on where you put your feet so I can put some kind of flat thing so it's more comfortable for your feet because I get bruised feet driving one of these for hours. Um, so put, put a bearing there and then I could put a stick way up to the front of the boat and have some other pedal things. So then people at the front could pedal too. So I better make sure these are super strong, can handle any craziness I might do. Oh, that looks like rain coming. Now I only got the second layer on one of them. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to get the second layer on the other one today. Well, I don't know. The sky's clear right there. Maybe it'll just keep going by like that. Ah, uh, here, getting closer. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, just heard thunder. Not a good time to be out in a boat. Luckily, I don't have very far to go. Wow. Well, it hasn't rained yet today. It just keeps looking like it's threatening to. Well, I'm gonna try doing some fiberglass. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Just, just stay just like that. Like that's fine. I've got roughly eight layers of fiberglass on those now. They should be strong. Like really strong, I think. Pretty nice. Beauty. Oh, oh I need to check one other thing. in there 
so it'll be all lined up straight, then fiberglass this connection. I better double check. I have enough here, yeah, I can fiberglass from there to there. Right. Well, that means I'm going to have to cut this floor out now and then flip the boat over. Smack it up, flip it. Uh, I think before I want to do that though, I want to wax the bottoms of the pontoons so the dirt doesn't stick to the resin. All right, I'll cut this out right now. Ah, good thing I brought my angle grinder. Oh, where do I cut? I guess up here, I mean, it's pretty obvious straight across. Back here though, you know, the bottom part I'll cut straight across. This part I think I'll try to keep as close to this as I can. Yeah. Hold on a second. I could keep these side walls because they're attached in the right spot here and if I disconnected them all along there, straighten them out so they went straight back instead of at an angle, then that could be where the, the middle bearing goes through and then I can attach the you know, the housing for the uh, paddle wheel to that. Hmm. All right, maybe I'll cut along here, around there, and cut the bottom off, and then see, see if this will just bend in a little bit. <laughs> Unsatisfactory! Unsatisfactory! I only brought one wheel. Cause like that never happens. Urgh. Okay, everything just stay right here. I'll be right back. Alright, and one of those for any corners. I pedal boated to town and back yesterday. So my legs are all wobbly. My head's, you know, spinning a little bit. Not really spinning. A little dizzy. Just kind of wiped out. I think that's why I uh, broke that disc because my coordination was off. So I need to need to focus, focus on coordination. Might have to score that a little bit right there so this isn't curving. But yeah, those look like they're pretty good. Should be able to put a hole in there, hole in there, and then put a bearing on top of here, here, there, there. Everything that goes straight through. And they're pretty close to matching up with this piece back here. So that'll be easy to connect. Wow, that was kind of hard to flip over by myself. Although, I think it's because this tube and those tubes back there have drain holes at the bottom and not at the top, so they were full of water. Yep. Maybe not full, but... Man, that is a cool boat. Why'd I ever stop using it as a boat? I mean, I know why. I made a different boat that was bigger. But yeah, this one's gonna get some good use again. There was another reason that I stopped using this as a boat. It's because I got all these bubbles in the fiberglass along the bottom. I don't remember what it's called, but it's a fairly common thing. It's not going to happen now, partly because I did a better job on the bottom, but also I'm going to keep it out of the water when it's not driving. Anyway, moving on. Well, I decided to take those things right off. I'm going to put this nice rounded edge along the bottom, because the top edge of this is probably just going to get a continuation to the 
paddle cover. And that bottom edge will be nice to have near the bearing to keep it from moving. Ah, oh, these things aren't even straight. Ah, forget it. Well, I've been staring at this for 20 minutes, trying to figure out what to do next. I think I need to go think somewhere else. Uh, yeah. Well, I think the main issue right now is I need to make like some kind of pieces to go across here that are flat sheets. And I don't have anything flat on this island. 